Hello, my name is Jonathan David. I will show you some progress that we've done on Gmik and Python, uh, especially NumPy support and some progress on integrating Gmik with Blender. I'm part of the Greek laboratory and I work in Caen, in Normandy. So I am a colleague of David who wrote Gmik uh, 10 years ago. And so let's go further. Uh, Mick, you know it, it's uh, basically an image processing framework with 500 filters. You can use it under the command line or as plugins for famous software such as Krita, Natron, Gmip, Gmik, and Paint.net. There is a good news, there is a funding for one year and it's actually for me since November, till next November. Okay. So I'll go first on the Python side to show you some uh, Python binding for Gmik. For this, we have to understand a bit deeper what is Gmik. Gmik is a package. You have to have images with you. And it's, uh, it's got a special language for image processing and an interpreter that warms up and runs your, your comments. So what, uh, this is how it works in C++. You just download it, compile it, whatever and then include it and you can run commands what's special about um, bricks uh, uh, main bricks that you need image which build up image lists and then you pass them to the interpreter python has the same principle for its binding the binding is written in c around the c++ library and so you pip install it you import it then you create an image, but you don't need to create a special kind of list, just a simple Python list, and then you pass it to the interpreter. So the support is right now for Mac OS and Linux. Windows will come soon. Uh, the idea is that you don't have to install or download anything special when you pip install Gmik, except on Mac OS. Uh, unfortunately, you need to install libomp. Gmik is targeting uh, multi-CPU, not GPU. And so it also has internet connection to grab new filters. It's, it's also possible for Gmik to get access to your camera thanks to OpenCV. It's on the right here. Uh, depends if you compile it locally or not. So let's go for a fast demo. Hello, uh, this is a, a demo about uh, Gmik uh, testing in Python. I'll show you very simple steps. So I just pip install Gmik first. Gmik is there, okay, it was in cache, but whatever. Then I will run Python 3. Then I will just import Gmik. And Gmik actually, what, li what Gmik likes for raw data to build images is actually, I have the tutorial just side by side, struct, struct, uh, structure from Python. So you can build bytes with it. So, and I think there is some randomization inside in my example. So I just run like this. You can see Gmik has some stuff in it. Okay, so I'll just create a random image. This, okay, and I can see what's inside this image. Up. Okay, we are good. Now, actually, I could display this image. Now, I'm going away from the tutorial. I could display, up, and this works uh, well. I think it will work well in, on Windows and Linux. Windows not ready yet, and macOS not sure. Sorry. So, and here is a random image that I've just built. You see it here. Okay. Now, what I want to add some blur before it. So, I just do blur and add some factor for it, blur free, and we are good. Okay, now what happens if we want a list of images? We'll just do it like this, so my image is like this, and do L is this many times. I'll just do it twice, hop, hop it's correct. And then I can pass it to Gmik. 
and if you run like this. Okay, so it's the, actually the same blur, but it's a way to show that it's there. And the list is here. It's actually changed in place. That's it for the demo. Let's go for a second demo. Hi, so for an advanced demo, I will show you this video game, which is bound to Czech Republic. This is a Czech beer, Vesna. So here it is. So that's it for the game, it was just the first level. Actually it's a brick breaker. Uh, it's a fork from processing the JS p5.js game that was created long ago by someone else. And so uh, I'll show you actually the background uh, is different for each level. So here is what the background look like. It's a basic map and you see actually every time two cities with a flag uh, to tell the story of a boy and a girl who have had difficulties to meet and to build a deep friendship. So uh, this is without Mic effect and this is with the uh, Mic effect. So uh, Czech Republic, Canada, France. This is Normandy. So you see before and after. Just simple Mic filter. Okay, it could be much nicer. Uh, but, uh, that's it. And now here is what the, the code looks like. So actually, we, uh, I use three libraries. First is one for geocoding. So I, I'm, I'm not painting any, any, anything myself. Uh, so the, just addresses. The second one is to build a map using the geocoded coordinates. And then I use Gmic on top of this. So you see, you see here import Gmic. And so. I have lots of filters fiddling there, like effects, and they are being applied for each picture. And that's it, you've seen the result. And this is the third demo. There has been something new in, in Mic over the last month, and it's the export of all filters parameters into a JSON file. This is what you see here. This JSON file is hosted on gmic.eu, and there is actually a command to generate it. And here you can see uh, top level categories of filter like animals. And then you can go into sub level categories and see the parameters for the filters and also the default values. Using default values, you can actually massive test filters, for example, between several implementations. So what you are doing here, you are testing filters between the command line interface executable and the Gmic library. And the result is something like this. You have pictures for one filter. This picture using one implementation and picture using a second implementation. You see, it is the same. Uh, and actually there could be a third implementation. It's Blender nodes so that we have stability across version and we, we are sure that 500 Blender nodes work as needed. Uh, what about Gmic and NumPy? Okay, Gmic now works in Python, but NumPy support is uh, starting. It's yet now in alpha, not yet released. So if you are a data scientist, there are things that you must know about Gmic before using NumPy. So who is this girl on the left? It's Grace Hopper. <laughs> so um, first, uh, if you want to use NumPy with Gmic, you will have to wait till 2.9.1, uh, so it's maybe one month. It's okay, it's, not, it's pretty soon. Then there are conversion functions from Gmic image to NumPy and the other way around. You need to use them first uh, in order to work with your tools and with Gmic. Gmic works exclusively in float 32 bits. And in the interleaved format, so what means the interleaved is that, for example, for RGB images, uh, Gmic is like the bottom order. It groups channels together. So you need permutation for this. And 
Uh, also, NumPy is in yellow. It has lots of different types, but Mick has just one type. So there is a need for conversion. Fortunately, NumPy uh, provides as type. And you have also special flags in the conversion function from Gmic image to do the D interleaving and interleaving. And the last thing to know about Gmic in comparison with NumPy is that Gmic works in only up to three dimensions, so 1D, 2D, 3D, and it has for each pixel or voxel up to 2 billion channels, so it's much more than just red, green, blue. You can have lots of possibilities. Here is the NumPy demo. So I will demonstrate a one-way conversion of a GMIC image into a NumPy ND array and it's displayed in Matplotlib. Uh, just follow me. I have here a custom build of GMIC. GMIC Python uh, with this NumPy support that is in alpha stage. So I'm importing a few libraries here. It's GMIC, the Python imaging library below. NumPy and Matplotlib. What I will do next is I will load a GMIC picture into a list and display it. So, see it? And here you have the Earth. Um, and it's in this object in, uh, yeah, in 500 uh, times 500 dimensions. Now, what I will do is I will convert it into an NumPy array using a GMIC image conversion function named to NumPy array. And here I have, I am using interleave to tell GMIC to uh, put R, G, B channels uh, next to one another for each pixel. Um, because GMIC does not work like this. And then use uh, casting using as type into very simple integers. And I will also squeeze the shape. Why? Because my Earth is three-dimensional in MIC, and in real life for other software, it must be two-dimensional. So uh, what I will show you is LL. It's a big array like this, and LL, that shape, this is the shape of it is the same as for GMIC. And we have here 8 bits integer. Uh, what I will do now is I will show it in matplotlib, which, take, which takes NumPy arrays. And here we are. <laughs> Hi, data scientist. This is a side note just to show you how to put GMIC inside a Google Colab notepad. Just do pip install GMIC and you're ready to run. Just you can import Gmik and work with the objects. What about Gmik and Blender? So there has been already two projects focusing on integrating Gmik inside Blender, maybe more. Uh, and so they are old. The first one is Blender to Gmik, and actually it ended up using the Qt widget of Gmik instead of custom Python on top of Blender 2.7 uh, and it looks like this. So no need to patch Blender to use this. This is the first version, so to say, and the second version uses Mix Official Qt widget. And this is for video editing effects. Uh, right now it's not maintained anymore and there is another project, Blender Custom Nodes. Uh, this one patches Blender and so the fork has to be maintained and now it's not maintained anymore. And it used to work on Blender 2.79 for Windows only in 64 bits. And the focus was on compositing nodes. The architecture was really good for using uh, just a thin overlay of Ligmic in C. Here you see that there is a single node type where you can insert a GMIC expression and then you have a variety of fields that are actually uh, not always used depending on the filter that you've entered. Um, okay, so now it's time to dream really and to do good stuff that lasts. Um, here are some hopes. So GMIC Blender is the plugin that I'm working on. It's an add-on actually for Blender 2.8. 
Uh, the goal is to not not to patch Blender at all, and it's uh, leveraging MIC Python, the binding. The goal is to yeah expose 500 filters on all OSs. And now for a Blender demo of the add-on. I don't know for you, but I love flipbooks and I love the work of animation. So I was thinking maybe I could use Blender and Gmic together to have some nice rendering of animations. So I'm at the very beginning and what I'll do is just show you how to install the Gmic Blender plugin. So basically you go to the release sections on the GitHub page and then you click uh, the zip file, uh, I've done it already, um, and then you go and pick it up in Blender. So I just, yes, I was thinking of using a filter like this, engrave. If you click on mic.eu in the gallery, you have the code to run to have the, the similar effect. So now I head over to Blender. And what I have is a scene with two fishes and um, they are not yet animated but I just want to show stuff. And so let's go to preferences. I want to grab the make blender add-on. For this I go to install. Then grab the add-on. See it's quite big, it's 14 megabytes because there are compiled libraries inside and now I'll just enable the add-on that's it what well, this this is actually a skinny add-on despite its weight uh, what it just allows is to import mic and work with mic so if I have this script here I can do alt p and actually it runs uh, mic yeah, it's a gen, just run uh, Python and Gmic is imported and it's the Gmic modules object. What I would like to show you is operators. So um, I've coded this and it's made up of four operators. And operators are basically actions or macros that you can run in Blender. And um, a render has been done already. I can show you, can show it to you. And uh, the operators, each operator that I've coded is tied to a filter. So there aren't many of them. And it's basically the code is like this. So this is just to show the render. I'm using a file system file for this, not in memory buffer. This is the blur the command. And make etc. So it looks like this, it's funny. This first menu option shows uh, okay, the render is not done yet, so we just do a render. But mind, I will make it very small because my computer is very old. Okay, okay, now I will do something a bit. Terrible for speed reason, it's 20%. Let's go F12. Now the render is stored uh, in a buffer named render result here, and, uh, and now we can I can show you the render. Okay, you, you know it, except this is a gmic window. This window, okay, and now. I use the other actions. I'm, I'm pressing Alt P each time. Blur. This is the Gmic blur on top of the Blender. And here is the Ritchie. The Gmic the Ritchie. And now, what's next? This is the most interesting for me is engraving. This is Gmic engraving. Yeah, and it's super stylish and I don't know any filters apart from Gmic able to do this. So, 
Uh, here is something uh, also interesting. Is uh, operators generation. You remember there are maybe 500 filters, and I've managed to parse that JSON file and to print categories and subcategories also. And it's a lot, lot of operators and filters actually. That's it. And it does not work well yet at all. Anyways. This is the wish for the UI since the add-on is not uh, in a very advanced state for now. So imagine you are in Blender, you open up menus to add some types of nodes and you have the gimmick nodes in two levels of categories. And this is the Dragonfly node with very specific fields. You even see comments of the author here. Um, so each node would be different. For this, we need a special type of architecture. I mean, we need to think about it really much so that it lasts. So this is the first idea, is that we shouldn't patch Blender or patch Blender should patch itself and uh, maybe some very light patch. And then I have just an add-on, which maybe uses GMIC by the GMIC, uh, Python binding. And here you have our 500 nodes or so. The second idea is to imitate freestyle. Freestyle allows to render uh, with a comic style in Blender. And it's out of French laboratory for artificial intelligence. And actually what they have done is that they have patched Blender, so to say, or Blender has embedded the library uh, completely and so when you compile Blender you compile Freestyle in this at the same time. It's not a separate fork and they have some Python but Python for in this case is is embedded in Blender. I mean for Freestyle for us it could be an add-on actually. Bundle add-on we don't know. So it's nice to dream but maybe it's also nice to communicate. Uh, right now I need time to finish the NumPy integration and after then I will get in touch with the Blender Foundation. So I've been on the Blender chat already and we can make calls, write mails and it crepes together maybe if it's viral. That's an idea but I hope that we'll have something lasting for good. That's it. So thank you for following the presentation. Have a nice day. This is my Twitter name if you want to write. Bye-bye. Uh, I, I am open for questions. So uh, there is the first question is, what would you recommend to read and learn more about the Blender API? I must say, I do not know the Blender API uh, well enough. I've used it maybe 10 years ago, and I'm getting back to it. So, and I also was uh, mostly focused on the game engine which is not anymore in Blender 2.8, so I cannot uh, answer. Uh, just, I would say, design what you want to do, uh, just on pen with pen and paper as a storyboard, and then start coding uh, with a very uh, simple um, roadmap. So from very bad application, very simple to more and more complex, and you could go on the Blender chat, and there is a Python channel for it, and just ask your beginner questions, it should be okay. And there are now more and more even uh, video tutorials on coding in, in Python for Blender. But I'm sorry, <laughs> I cannot recommend uh, an area to study mostly for Blender API. Okay, yeah, it can be shared on Blender Nation. I think so, now the video is ready enough. It's just that I will focus on NumPy first before Blender, uh, advanced Blender support. Uh, yeah, okay, a question uh, re regarding Last Paint. Last Paint is a graphics software, obviously. And uh, uh, yes, you can add uh, GMIC support using Python, it should be easy enough. And note for that, for, since GMIC Python is the um, as a pure compiled Python module, it means that you need shared libraries uh, that are compiled for you um, for each operating system. So for 
macOS, we have dinlibs. For uh, Linux, we have .so files. And for Windows, I guess, we'll have DLL files or something that uh, is compatible with Python. And for the, as you, you must know, for the <coughs> Blender add-on, we ship, actually, we uh, used the same technique as the clip add-on, a clip that's used to do liquid simulations. We ship all shared libraries for all OSs together in different directories. So you just in the install a zip file, but actually <coughs> it should work on all supported operating systems. That's to say right now, uh, just Linux. But for, uh, that's the case of Blender. And we can help in integrating into anything, any software. Okay. Uh, so a question, I had this question. Sometimes I find interesting results in filter, but they produce images that cannot be used as seamless. What are the ideas I'm make about implementing more filters to be used with seamless results? I use this kind of images to produce patterns in Krita, but if the result is seamless, could be applied also in Blender. I, okay, I'm a bit new to make. If you mean uh, texture repeating in order to have uh, tiles that you, you can repeat, it's just uh, you need to find the right filters or just, I would say, write to on pixels.us. I'm trying to see if I'm okay. On pixels.us, it's the a forum or write to just uh, make uh, offer or to me. I, I will just. My name on the chat. This is my email. My personal email is on the chat. Or I, myself himself. I can be found on Twitter and I can help to maybe uh, find for you the right filter because there are lots of filters that can, maybe some of them are seamless or maybe a new one could be written for you. Uh, okay, can we? how can we contact you? My email is dropped on. Uh, the RSC, RSC chat, or you can contact me on Twitter. My nickname is myself himself, all attached, um, no special characters, myself himself. Okay, if you work with macOS, what's your experience building MIG in Python? Okay, in the laboratory, we know that building MIG for macOS is a bit a pain in the ass, and, and we do not use macOS ourselves. What I've done to build MIG for macOS is I've used GitHub action, Actions, it's like Travis, Travis CI, and it's a continuous interaction integration platform. What it does is it's, uh, it loads a macOS virtual machine, and then you can run any comments there. And what I'm doing is I'm using LLVM Silang version 6, not something more recent. And it manages to build the GMIC library and the GMIC Python binding all together. And maybe there is no Quartz support in it. I, I must say I have not tested this on macOS. What I have done with the, an engineer in, at Intel microchip in Ireland, that for the Gmic Blender add-on, if I'm not mistaken, um, I, we have automated testing also for macOS. Uh, or maybe it's, uh, and so import make at least works. What may not work for macOS is this uh, display uh, instruction, display command in make, where you have a pop-up showing with your window manager the picture that you've done. Okay, question answer. I was hoping that I could add mix approach just like I would do for the Python library, like Pillow, for example. Are you saying that it's not simple for users to install GMIC for Python? Okay, GMIC for Python did not exist before, or if it existed, most probably uh, the project about it was a wrapper against the GMIC command line executable. So you had this GMIC uh, command that you can run on in bash or uh, batch or whatever in the command line, and it's just an executable. So, and what I've done now is I've created a package that can be pip installed uh, from pypy.org. I couldn't share my screen. Maybe it's better like this. Um, 
share my full screen. Okay, I'm sharing my screen. Oh. This is pipi.org. And if you look for a mix, it's there. Mix is there, version 2.8.4. This is a project I worked on Blender add-on tester. And it tries to test the mix Blender add-on inside the many versions of Blender. But uh, yeah, that's the mix Python binding. It's there. And in order to, you have the releases here. So the latest that's published is 2.8.4, but it will be soon 2.9.0, 2.9.1. And the files that you can download here are here. So you have for uh, Linux, Mac OS, um, and Windows is not there yet. And you can also build from source. There is the, the source is not there, but Maybe it used to be in the former version. I, I'll make sure that the source is there as well. Um, that's it. And so, yeah, that's the GitHub page for Agmic. Um, the Agmic Python binding. It's uh, Agmic hyphen pi. It's here. And this is the page for the Gmig Blender add-on, which just provides Big Python actually as a Blender add-on. But it's the, in the future, you will be able to have notes, of, hopefully. That's it. Now, I'm going back to questions. So, yeah, I see no more questions. Oh, no. OK, a question. Is there any Gmic Java? Just wondering how I envision Gmic in phones to be used by the world. OK, the, I'd say this is a nice dream. I do not know, and I don't think so. I can look on Google for you, but I've not heard about it in the laboratory. So let's have a look. And I'd say there could be a Gmic for Java if we wrap the Gmic executable. OK, I, you, I, my screen is not shared. I will share it again. So, um, yeah, I'm just looking on Google if Mick is there for Java. Uh, yeah, there is something about Mick and Java. Is that it? No, it's about GIMP. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Um, It, it's very feasible. Even I'm helping a student to finish her Java uh, homework. So if you need help for like Mick and Java, please ping me again. And but the idea is the as is on the screenshot. Okay, for mobile phones, for mobile phones. Yeah, you can embed C++ on mobile phones. So it should be possible to marshal the library in Java and embed it in on several operating systems for mobile phones. Now. I'm kind of sharing my screens. OK, I'm still here. I'm back for the chat. So, OK, so I guess the simpler for me would be to use GMIC command line. Uh, yeah, and the GMIC command line is, I can show it to you also. It seems that some people don't know GMIC so much. So OK, I'm sharing my screen again. This is the GMIC command line. So let's go in my home. And I this is you can install it like this on Linux. Install GMIC. It's already installed. And then just to run GMIC. And you have the official GMIC command line. It's C running there. You can run display GMIC uh, lines like this. And here you have the earth and run filters on it. It's the blurred earth. OK. But yeah, the command line is wrapping the C++ library. And the C++ library can be compiled for many operating systems and wrapped with different bindings for different languages. Now.
Okay, I am out of questions now. <laughs> okay, thank you for having me. And uh, feel free to get in touch with us, with the laboratory. Thank you. Bye-bye.